Sounds good. Yeah, it does sound good. All right, guys, welcome to the very first raid clinic. Um, myself, T-Rex, and Broman have all brought on a follower who uh, does not have a lot of raid experience or has not done the raid at all. So we're going to take their questions per encounter and explain exactly what we're doing as we're going through the Vault of Glass. Yes, we're a little bit late to the party with this raid clinic, but fuck it. But we're also not cheesing anything. Yeah. So another big thing. Yes, yes. Yes, we are doing it. We are doing all the things. There are too many players for this activity. Oh, wait, this the is Nexus? the Nexus. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to take us to the Nexus. All right, so step one to Nexus getting to the clinic. raid is you got to go to the Vault the of Glass. Raid. Yes, you have to actually select the raid. First mistake <laughs> made, first lesson learned. This is going to be good. Noted. I'm very proud of you right now, God. Thanks. I'm super proud. <laughs> Bible proud. I've never been more proud. I, I might have been a couple this times. This is a great idea. Who came up with this idea? Um, I mean, Bungie, Bungie was like, hey, let's do a raid clinic thing. And then they did that. And, and then it was... It could have been better, so we want to make a good one. And we've been wanting to do a tutorial on the raid for a while. So that's why we're doing this. Oh, yeah. It's going to be cool. It's going to be a hot and tasty tour. So the first thing we're going to do when we land is we have to defend the plates. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how familiar everyone is with the raid. I'm assuming you've watched it before at least one or two times. Yes. yes. Yeah. So the, the point of defending the plates is you don't want any Praetorians on the plates. Anything else can get on the plate. It's totally fine. But not the Praetorians. So the best thing to do is to call them out. They don't know their positions yet, so maybe we should tell them that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Dude, well, free fat kids. Thank, thank you so much for the sub, dude. And then um, we're going to get positions. Yeah, um, so I guess Broman and his buddy stay on the left. Uh, me and my buddy on the right. T-Rex and his buddy in the center. So All right, much Jay said, come in the middle. Stay glued. We're going to be best friends. I don't know where you went. You're, <laughs> I'm uh, okay. You see me okay. over here? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go. Okay. We're gonna go all the way over to uh, the left side. I guess it's stage left. Okay. Also, I can hear someone's game in the background. So. Not me this time. Yeah. There we go. That thing. Boom. Harpies. I don't think I want dead. to use this money. Sorry card. about that. It's okay, dude. Oh, it's fine, man. All right. Uh, oh, Praetorian. Man, regenerating shield health. That's Coming cool. At me. Being a butthole. And he's dead. Easy peasy. You have a hawk moon. Everyone else has a hawk moon. I'm glad I have mine now. I'm not angry about it as much. Oh, because you have your hawk moon? That does yeah, help. I'd be mad. I'd be very All right, mad. So basically, I'm not basically <laughs> outside, you, you want to get these plates until they're this uh, color. You've, seen, you've probably seen us do this raid several times, but we're just going to explain it as we go. Same side, Edward. Yeah, basically, like, the Harpies don't do as much damage as long as you're on level and oh. stuff like that. The only real concern is Praetorians. Yeah. So as long as you lead them away from the plate, uh, one of the worst things you can do is stand directly on I the died. plate as they're charging you, because you basically <laughs> lead them right into it, and they're going to disrupt it. Okay, so if you stand outside yeah. of it, you can try to bait them towards the corners and stuff like that, and then it becomes a little bit easier. Yeah, we lost our plate. That's okay. She has a terrible coach over Another here. Another one? Uh... <laughs> Holy right shit, Praetorian right now. Yeah, I know, they're very angry. Alright, we got a Praetorian over Praetorian. here on our side. Would you like some assistance? I can get you out. No, we're good. Um, don't sure? don't self-revive, Fox. I got you. Oh, oh you self-revive. Yeah, self self-reviving it here is bad because it sets you back to the beginning of the encounter. Yeah, yeah. So I have a maxed out Yellowhorn now. So uh, you this, guys got this, this a silly. Praetorian coming to middle? Yep, shooting him. Oh, he's dead. So if you see a Praetorian what? coming towards your plate, yeah, you generally oh, want to cool. call it out for the other person who's on your plate with you. And if you spot one heading to someone else's plate, you can let them know. Yep. Mm -hmm. Helps a lot. So I just saw a Praetorian lose half its health and then gain, uh, sorry, lose all of its health and then gain half of it back because magic. Because lag. Dude, simplify. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Welcome to the Bro Force. You are super sexy and I love you. I do apologize that the sub did not go through. Uh, Patoria backside. Yeah. 
So yeah. And if I'm in the middle, I usually just jump between these two things so I could have a good point of view from uh, where they be going up from. Praetorian going mid. Okie dokes. He's dead. Oh, he is dead. He's mega dead. Yeah, he's super dead. He he super had no mega chance. Turbo dead. To turbo dead. And yeah, we just do not care about harpies. They can go on the plate all they want. Um. Okay. <laughs> I was staring at the spire and I was like, I don't. Did it break? No, no it's, it's good. It's good. Right. It's fine. It's building slowly. Just taking its time. Yeah. Taking its time. Having a good time. Am I on yeah. shatter? What am I using right now? So how? So if you guys have done the raid at all, even a little bit, how far have you all gotten? Well, going mid. I was invited at the end just to help out with Atheon, basically. I've oh, so never. You just someone was like, "Hey, help me kill this nerd." Basically, beginning to end. Yeah. As a mega dead Praetorian, he got double rocketed. Yeah, I've seen Atheon twice, but I have not beat him. Oh, that's gonna change today! Oh. Absolutely. We're gonna kill that nerd. In, in before right, everyone hits 30 with their gear by playing with us. Oh man. That would be cool. That would be really cool, man. I hope you get all of the raid you guys, You guys would be so freaking set for Dark Below then. Yeah. So that sound means that the gate is open, and now we go through the gate. Woo! The and point of this are, phase... You're required to take your sparrow as far as you can without dying. That's a, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a requirement. Yeah. Or it could be goth and just be a little jerk and uh, just glitch yeah. through the door. Yeah, whoever glitches through the door like that is the winner of the Vault of Glass Holes. <laughs> and you win the Vault of Glass. <laughs> Simplified, thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to the Dazzler Tea Party. I love you. Enjoy your emotes and your sub badge, man. Kick ass. We're not doing music because we're doing the raid clinic right now, guys. Raid time. Yeah. All right. All right. Right. We, made it. we hey, the point of, made it! Hey, Bro Broman, can you calm down? Broman? Can we just be calm? I think everyone just needs to be calm. Are you, don't you dare. Are you I'm waiting? I'm not doing for, anything! I, I know what you're doing! You're trying to line up a shot to destroy somebody. The point of this part is to sideswipe someone else into the darkness <laughs> below. And that's how you unlock the darkness below, you guys didn't know. Yeah, you guys didn't know right, that. So this Good. is the first chest, it always has shards or energies in it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's, it's not I, don't, I don't want to hurt my new friends, but I really want to kill you, Goth. It's a really <laughs> tough decision. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you guys bring your Windex offering for uh, the Vault of Glass? Uh, you know I did. Dude, hot. Yeah, fucking great. So, yeah. First jump. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. You see these boxes here? Fuck these boxes. <laughs> Equally important. Very important. You can't complete the encounter if you don't kill those boxes. This one's fine, though. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not a lot of super complicated tech for the next part. You defend the confluxes, which means you just kill everything before it can get to the confluxes. Yeah. Probably not in Demas. This is probably the extent of how we're going to do it. Alright. Um, uh, myself and Fox will be over on the left. Uh, where do you want me and... You, I guess we can go You're middle. really good at the center, so... Alright, that's fine. Alright, um, left side first. Uh, Fox, if you feel unsafe, you can stand up on this pillar here and okay. shoot guys. But yeah. you are on level, so you're pretty much set to be down in the fray down here. So you're gonna have two spawn points on the left. That's gonna be this back door over here, and then from this doorway over here with the Templar. But if you're in this doorway here, be careful because the Templar might shoot shit at you. T-Rex. Okay. So Jason, what you're gonna be is you're basically your opposite me on that side. It's optimal to have someone positioned on both sides of the stairs to shoot down into the spawn points. I got the one on the left, and you got the one on the right. Uh, and there's also ones that come from the very far back, and they'll walk slowly through the center. So you typically want, we can both get uh, shots on them. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And also, if you're in danger, you can always go up those stairs behind you, uh, and you're usually okay. But that's typically not going to happen. It's usually a pretty safe uh, bet to stand where you are. Templar's not going to be shooting at you too much. Broman! What's up? Wow. 
professional Ex show, everybody. Explain your side, nerd. I like I'm how I'm sorry. You just I got say really distracted so. because there were people being huge sacks of garbage in my chat, and I had to deal with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> this okay. So right side is actually pretty hazardous. For some reason, this seems to be where we get most of our deaths for our raid team. Um, I think it's because a lot of times folks get flanked from the stairs here. So while you're over here, you have to pay attention not only to the cave in the back, which is, um, you know, where the enemies are obviously coming from, but you need to make sure you're watching your radar to see if anything's coming up the steps on your left in front of you. Because if you don't pay attention to that, it's really easy to overextend yourself and die. Where we get a bunch of these enemies called fanatics that rush the middle. Uh, you can hold them down with heavy really, really well, or uh, supers. For example, uh, a Void Walker super can kind of decimate an entire wave as they come out. Um, especially if you do the Nova Bomb one with the really large blast radius. It's uh, it's pretty brutal. Um, fanatics will uh, explode when they get right up on top of you, and that's bad because it is usually a one-shot kill. Sometimes you live through it if like uh, some of the blast is eaten by um, environment. Otherwise, when you kill them, they leave a pool of nope that you don't want to step in. Yeah. And if yep. you do, you want to go to the center and cleanse yourself because there is a little cleansy thing in the center it's of the bath. level. And it's a bath. you can you can also do your best to take your time while that's going on because until he's cast you'll see it in the bottom left corner of your screen, he'll start casting a thing called Ritual of Negation, which means he's going to cleanse you from the Vault of Glass if you have the green goop debuff. Yes. Uh, which I believe is called what? March for negation? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm I forget what it's called. That might be it. Hey, bro man, yeah. uh, can we just use that bath as much as we want? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think on normal mode you can. Um, I think it's still limited. Really? Yeah. I, think I don't know limited. what the limit is on normal mode, then. Still, do, do, just regard, just do your best to uh, not get... Uh, yeah. Oh, oops, I just... On I hard just, mode you have three cleanses total for the entire thing. On normal, yeah. I'm not sure. But it probably is limited, but just a much higher amount. So do not get yourself stuck in the cleansy thing. Or, well, do not get yourself marked so you don't have to cleanse a shit ton, because it's not limitless. Yeah. After the first wave, uh, you will then start seeing a uh, minotaurs coming from specific areas left, right, or middle. Why? It's advantageous for you to call it out, so that way uh, no one is surprised. Planet. If it teleports somewhere, everyone knows there's one that's alive. Uh, and plus, it's good to have your partner well, focus it down with you, because those are probably the most deadly piece like uh, enemies in the current Vault of Glass where we're at mm -hmm. right now with the Confluxes. Minotaur. Nice. Yep. Sweet call, Fox! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! So, good call! <laughs> and the cool thing is, is I mean, like, if you know, if you never wipe, you're typically going to have a lot of heavy ammo as well as a lot yeah. of super orbs around. Um, so if you never wipe, you're gonna have a lot of, uh, different ways to help kill stuff throughout the entirety of the fight. Yeah. And then no. sometimes, you'll have enemies that teleport directly into the confluxes that we're trying to protect. They're super uh, which nerds. Which is just going to happen. Is that just and like sometimes a glitch, you can't basically? Prevent it because they nope the fuck out. Um... I don't know if, I don't know if super teleporting is, is a glitch, per se, or if it's just like... It seems to happen more often when the server is acting buggy inside of the raid. Right. There's a really the easy way to tell if you're getting a kind of buggy yeah. raid. Your, your damage numbers are going to show up super late. Yeah. Um, so the first sign that your raid is probably haunted is going to be like you shoot something and you're like, I know I hit it. And then two seconds later, it's like 500 damage. And you go, Another thing uh, to, uh, um, uh, to really watch out for is the Axis Harpies during... Um, Fanatic during phase. Yeah. Fanatic phase, because especially in hard mode, they can pretty much end a side if you don't say yeah. harpies on this side uh, and focus harpies. So for normal raid, what type of gear can you get? Uh, you can get all the gear minus the helmets from the normal and raid. The blast. Yep. So you can hit well, thirty. Well, you can't get well, the, okay. You can hit. Oh, sorry, thirty on the gear. Yeah. Well, you have to get a you have to get an exotic helm, but you can, you can get the, gloves, chest, boots, and then there's select weapons that are hard mode only. I think it's is fate it uh, fate bringer, bringer. Time piece, um, and mythoclast are hard mode only. So yeah, the only difference is are the helmet, helmet and then the three raid weapons you get on hard mode. Uh, and that's it. Otherwise, it's the exact same gear set. 
Also, good work, everybody. Holy shit. <laughs> also, um, if you're... If you do the, the Vault of Glass on normal one time in the week, and you go to do it on hard, you will get another set of drops from bosses. Um, chests you will not, um, but uh, excluding one chest that we're going to show you in a bit, that is a double chest. But if you just start on hard mode, you'll get double loot drops. And it can, can't can they both pull from the hard mode loot pull? They can. If, they yeah, so, on hard. yeah it's that, beneficial to just start off by doing it on hard in the week. If, you, if you're capable of doing it on hard. The only time where it's advantageous to do uh, normal and then hard mode is if you're trying to get a specific piece uh, because it lowers the loot pool. So if you're trying okay. to get, let's say, gloves, it'd be better for you to do the normal raid once and then the hard mode raid once because it lowers the loot pool of gear to acquire, um, thus increasing the chance for you to get the one piece you want. Minotaurin, right? If it's a normal mode piece. If that uh, makes sense to everybody. Makes sense, yes. I didn't know that. I could feel Broman fuming over there. <laughs> Whoa, Sorry. guys, it's really cool that we just did a hard mode raid all the time. <laughs> Fuck my ass! <laughs> well, I wasn't, listen, I, I wasn't super aware while, of, so of the, the loot pool reduction. Because I've gotten, like, double gloves off of a dude before. Yeah. I've got double gloves, too. RNG is RNG, but that is 100% that is true. That math cannot lie to me. I'm gonna grab this heavy and then hopefully not die. Hey, I didn't die. Phenomenal. I love not dying. Oh, my holy shit! Legions. Uh, uh, legions incoming. This is the last set of legions before the face. Uh, we beat this part of the encounter. Yeah, uh, it's we three waves total. Oh, I dunked the fuck out of those nerds in the back. Herpes. I got the next dunk. Here it goes. We've got so herpes on this side as well. Uh, I got a ball. Well, well, good news is, is there's going to be enough orbs for you to get your super back immediately, so... Never worry about wasting your super here, because there's uh -huh. just so much energy around that's not usually a big deal. Uh, T-Rex, you don't mind if I ask you a question? Feel free. How come you like the Warlock a lot? Like, me particularly, I don't like the Warlock class. So, the reason why I personally like it is I'm just a huge fan of the playstyle. Like, uh, for, ex for example, Sunsinger, I just love the ability to get myself up so I can rectify a mistake I made. Um, so that way that the mistakes I do make are mitigated because I can get myself up. Um, now in the raid, if I don't care about, you know, if I don't think I'm going to die like a normal raid, I'll go Voidwalker because the super is more useful. Um, some may disagree saying if you have the Heart of Praxic Fire on a Sung Singer Warlock that you can just spam grenades in your super and it's fine, but I personally, you know, prefer don't have that. Voidwalker for that. Oh, okay. um, and I don't know, it just, it just, it just fits my playstyle. So it's not yeah. like I think it's the best class in the game. It's the best class for me. I love the playstyle. Um, I love Sun Singer and Voidwalker and I'm excited to see what the third subclass is going to be like. Uh, but, Broman, Oracles. Yeah, okay, I totally so agree. when we... <clears throat> uh, the next phase of this fight is the Oracle phase. Uh, I will try to explain it while we're calling things, uh, far left as well. Yep. So, uh, the first thing that happens is the game introduces what the fuck Oracles are by showing you it's every spawn point that they have on the map, so your team should pay attention so you know where the Oracles can be. Uh, mm -hmm. The tonality of the Oracles also indicates their location. Each one of them makes a different sound. I'm bad at that, so I don't have them all memorized. But if you have someone who is acoustically inclined, uh, you can, they can memorize the location and the sound of each one of them. They There's... actually follow a pattern that we've never learned. Yes, Super and they also follow a pattern, <laughs> which we have also never learned, because yeah. of the way that we lay out... Listen, um, listen learning oracle. is for nerds, and we're not nerds yeah. here. So the also way to th watch out, um, watch out during um, oracles is you have um, uh, hobgoblins that spawn around the outside, so... You sometimes might want to have someone dedicated to taking out Hobbs, but both people really should be watching out for Hobbs and stopping them. Yeah. So if you so, can, if you can, with your group, kind of figure out wh where you want to call each Oracle, like we call the one that's up on the left right now behind Edward Matt, is that we call that Left Stairs. Um, but I'm trying to call their ones right now. Uh, the center one is obviously center in the very far back. Uh, there's one that spawns on the right, we call that Right Stairs. And there's right hidden, left hidden, which are very difficult to see from a lot of positions on the map. Um, and then just uh, far left and far right, which are, you know, the farthest left and the farthest right on the map. 
So if you call it out, even without knowing the patterns or without knowing mm -hmm. all that, you know, the tonality and stuff like that, it's really easy if you're all spread out. Which some people don't like doing that. Um, I like it this way because it keeps me active. But eh, teach their own. If, you, if your raid group finds a better way of doing it, then please do it the way you guys prefer. Absolutely, because we get shit about some of the ways we run things sometimes, but it's just the way. It's we just the way we learn. So it's just yeah. how we're sticking with it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, there are, there are multiple ways to deal with the oracle phase. This is just how we do it. We right. put two uh, people right in stairs. each area. Yeah, got it. Left hidden. Far right is up. Roman's got it. And then far left is up. And you know you kill an oracle when you get the text indicating you have. It's very important. So, because sometimes yes. the... The graphics kind of glitch out a little bit. I wouldn't say glitch out, but it gets, it's, it's hard to tell sometimes if it's dead or not. It looks so if like you don't it's see dead, a message, it's not quite dead. Just keep shooting. Yep. You'd very much rather be uh, wrong and waste bullets than yeah. wrong and be dead. <clears throat> don't worry about overfiring on oracles. Yep. Uh huh. That's fine. What happens if we uh, miss an oracle? You get marked. If you miss an oracle, you get marked for negation, and everyone has to go take a math. It marks you the get the math. same debuff as if the you stood in team. the green goop, and you yeah. have yep. to run to the middle. Yep. And this is basically so. Basically, it's the exact same phase that Goblin just did a 360. That was amazing. And uh, oh, middle, far left, left stairs. Far, uh, sorry, right stairs. Left hidden. Left stairs. I'm taking care of this Minotaur. So yeah, also, a really good way um, to be dead is if you stay in one spot because the Hobgoblins will just dome you like nobody's, yeah. like nobody's business. So also try to make sure that you're kind of always moving and during this phase especially or else the Hobgoblins are going to make your life uh, really awful. Icebreaker I think is probably the best exotic for this particular phase for it, it all depends on how your group handles it sure so if yeah you have if you have a that are specifically hopper. designed to be like hey you are on hobgoblin duty i'm on everything else oh sorry left stairs dead talk left about hidden. that in a second uh left hidden got the right Arr okay. far right's up right stairs is up oh and shoot it from over here and then middle's up what would you guys say is your favorite gun in the raid, actually? Uh, Fatebringer. <laughs> yeah, I use the Fatebringer pretty much the whole uh, raid. T-Rex, I know you're a hand cannon person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know everyone thinks my opinions are pretty moot because they're pretty set in stone. <laughs> oh, what is that, a hand cannon? <laughs> Fuck everything else. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's for the mo hand what, cannons are wait, amazing. What are auto rifles? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's things in this game that aren't pistols? What is this madness? Oh goodness! Nah, but I the paper gun seems like a great hand cannon, though. It explodes after contact. Oh, it explodes on precision kill. But yeah, yeah. precision kill. It's very um, good. Yeah. The, what what the raid clinic is, guys, is we're we're walking through people with not much raid experience to no raid experience and giving them vocal walkthrough of what we're doing, exactly. why we're doing. Got it. Um, does does do any of the people in in group have any There's questions or anything the they're, they're not quite on top of? Oh, mm, not really. I've seen you guys done it a lot of times. Cool. All right. Uh, that should be the next to last set, I believe. Okay. Nice um, box. I honestly forgot what I was talking oh, really? about. I try. Um, you're actually required to yell "Hob stopped" whenever you one shot a hobgoblin. <laughs> Super important. <laughs> yeah, it's in the instruction uh, manual. Well, that was weird. Oh, also be aware of your surroundings because sometimes, since you're handling uh, oracles so often, you'll lose track of where enemies are, and they will teleport directly behind you and be huge buttholes. Yeah. They will. Oracles are uh, up. Far right's up. Right stairs. I got right stairs. Are. 
Hidden left. Hidden left stairs. stairs. Okay, got it. Far left. Well, I guess I'm on right. <laughs> this is weird. Right stairs. Uh, poop. Really? I guess we have one more. Nope, there it is. This might. This is. I think this is the last one. Yeah, yeah. probably is. Feels like it. Feels right. Is he above me? Oh no, wait, yeah, where the heck is this? Oh, hey guy. What's up, bruh? Does it feel right, nice so, um, being on level? Isn't it great? <laughs> coming up coming up next we're gonna have um we're gonna have the actual Templar fight. Uh T Rex is gonna grab the shield. Uh, basically his job is to rip the Templar's shields by using the super. And he can also either A, cleanse us, or B, shield us from Templar's fire with his Or C, shield. kill every harpy that's ever existed on the planet of... Needs to do that as well. Venus. Um, during this, this encounter, oracles will spawn. So there's that. Shod boys! Shod boys. All right. So pay attention to the oracles, and I think Paramount in this encounter, safety over DPS... Especially yeah. on normal mode. You have, I think it's seven minutes. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, that sounds right. <laughs> seven minutes to kill enrage. And even mm -hmm. then, enrage is a, is a soft enrage. It's not like, boom, you're dead. There's going to be more oracles that spawn faster, and he's going to spawn minotaurs when that happens. So basically, uh, during this encounter, Templar is finally going to spawn. He's going to spawn right in the middle. Right uh, here is where he's going to start at. Um, so, oh, by the way, there's uh, lots of ammo in the middle all around, so make sure you fill yeah. up on your head yeah. and stuff like that. Um, it's to, every time you rip his shields with the shield super, he's going to teleport around. Uh, he's going to mark where he's going to go, and you have an option to stop him from teleporting by standing where he's going to go. The red circle will turn white, and then when it disappears, you've blocked it. If he spawns on top of you, you were too slow, and then you're probably dead. Um, when you do block his teleports, though, he spawns the Minotaur. So we choose to not block, uh, not block the teleports because we find it just to be easier to just handle him normally without blocking teleports. A lot of groups choose differently, but this is the way we do it. Yep. Is everybody ready to go? I am ready. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Oracles still spawn yep. during this too. So yes. kill Oracles. You have to take out Oracles. And Obviously. then there's also Detainment. And and a bunch of up and, uh, explain, left. explain to detainment. <laughs> so detainment, uh, when you knock his shield off, you will choose three random people in the raid to detain. You will get a bluish bubble around you that will slow your movement, and if you exit the bubble before you destroy it, you will die. It will expunge you from the vault of glass. Uh, so you have to just put bullets into it until it goes away. Uh, it'll pop off you, and you'll be able to move freely again, and then you're safe. But do really, really not important. Yeah, yeah. move out of the bubble before it goes away. Also, if you're the shield carrier, make sure to call out when you're tearing off his shields so that way people aren't in the air when you do it because they can get detained in the air. <laughs> yeah. They'll fall out of the detainment and then they'll die. Yeah. So, yeah. That's Everybody bad. ready? That's not what you want. Yep, ready. Let's try first yep. time. All right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Do you kind of split up in groups the same thing, or we do left, center, right with you guys? Uh, More or you're less just going to be safe. Right. Just, yeah, just, just be safe. Because center's yeah. not really a thing, because you'd be standing right on top of him, which is a bad idea? Think. Sounds like a bad idea. I remember the first time you guys did this. You had a lot of trouble, and now it's just easy. That's, you know, that's how it goes. You have to learn the You have to the learn something to first. Yeah. My super is almost up. Okay. All right, super hing his shields. Everybody get safe. Safe. All right. And if you're also if you're the shield bearer, uh, you can get your super up a lot quicker what? if you're killing harpies. So it's also really easy if you just hit R two, pop the shields. Easy peasy. Uh, it's up again. Is everybody safe yeah. and ready to go? Yep. Do we have any uh, oracles up? I don't hear any. I, I believe we killed one. it. Okay. Safe. Right, okay. super him. Way to go.
I heard an oracle. It's on the I got left it. hidden. You got it. My super's up again if you're all ready. Now ready. ready. Yep. Here we go. He's coming over to our side again. Yeah, it's it's also beneficial to call out where he's teleporting to, so that way people who are around that area, they don't yep. get destroyed as he yeah. teleports right on top of you. You want to break line awesome. of sight with where he's teleporting as soon as you know where he's going to teleport. So that way he doesn't... Yeah. Waiting and doing damage uh, right, is right far. gonna get you killed. Got Super it. is up again. Okay. So bring the boss. He's going to uh, back right. Across from uh, Broman and yep. Goth. Yeah. Oracle's up. If you're the shield bearer, you can also pop an Oracle, but it's kind of tough because the hitboxes are weird. Which Oracle was that? Uh, that was far left. I took okay. care of it. I'm getting him as a super. As a shield bearer, it's also really important to be in a safe place when you super him. So that yeah. way, if you get detained, you have an easy way of breaking out of it. Um, as also, well watch as harpies when you're yourself. when you're using the super and or using a heavy. Yeah, you don't especially. Want. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we need to be gone. You should Jason. pretty much be very careful with rockets. <laughs> do not do not shoot a rocket until you know you're not detained. Yeah, it's super easy to blow yourself up in detainment. Right. Far left again. I took care of it. Yep. Uh, left left stairs working it. Something I do with detainment is I try and watch another player some because I'm really bad at timing. So I watch another player to see if they get detained so I know when detainment happens. Yep, <laughs> so I like you can be thing. really patient. Super going out. Sorry to interrupt. Let me see where he's going. Oh, uh, across from us. Sorry. I see it. Okay. All right, we have uh, right stairs. Um, working you on it. it. I got it. All right, my super's almost up again. Okay. Uh, and I'll go over the button combinations for the shields here in a second too. Super going out. Ready? Yep. Teleporting right on top of me like a booty. Jerk face. So, uh, I got you, designer. Oh god. Thank you. Oh, heartbeats for uh, days. Uh, dump. Uh, left hidden. Got on it. it. Uh, R2, or whatever the right trigger is, is going to be your heavy attack. R1 is your light attack. Your heavy attack can one-shot any harpy as long as you have the shield. Uh, my super's up, getting in position. If you're jumping in the air and you hit R2, you do a slam attack that's an AoE. Uh, same thing, you kind of fly through the air when using R1. So you bring the boss. Kill him. Really close. He's and dead. dead. Good there going. Go. Easy peasy. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, an die. effective strategy for when you... Nice found verdict. You got the found verdict. Congratulations. <laughs> Gosh dang nice. it. Literally took me two months to get mine. Um, Last so week. There's, yeah, we're going to show you where the secret chest is. There's two exits. This is sort of a, a long way, but it takes you to two chests along the way. Oh, so there's uh, a chest here, but it only has spirit. Yeah, but it has. It, this is the this is the famed um, best chest in the game. Troll chest. It has spirit bloom. And I can be. Glad I got nice. my two. Oh god, I got stuck. I got a strange coin. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> oh god! How did you get stuck there? <laughs> so once you go what down, is happening? Oh, All right. What yeah. Yeah. Okay. Going? There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Also, yeah, this there's is really some... easy if you're a warlock. Just always look down and just hit X or whatever your jump button is to slow your descent. Glide yeah. makes this really, really, really easy. I yeah. always take this way as um, as a titan because I feel like oh, the yeah, long try to... drop. Oof. You get, it's, it's, sometimes it can be pretty tricky to time the long drop, uh, which is the, the actually the primary way, the faster way. And then there's the one really big drop. Just glide your way down. Super duper easy. So yeah, shield management's really important in the Templar fight as well as the Atheon fight. Yeah. And gatekeepers. It's all about knowing what to use and when to use it. Which is so almost exclusively heavy. Attack. Attack. 
uh, did manage to kill the Templar without him teleporting. However, you decide to do that. Uh, this is where <laughs> the fifth chest will be. Uh, we have no chest right now because the Templar teleported a whole bunch. But if I'm you were to get the final chest, this is where it's going to be. Yeah, I can wait for everyone to get in here so you guys can all show folks where the chest is. I'm going to wait for uh, everyone else to come down. Don't want to leave anybody behind. Hey, you, you mean me. It's okay. No, there was, you did, they just got here, too. <coughs> You're right in front it's of me. It's fun. You're right behind me. We're definitely not that far behind. Oh, God, I'm going to... Also, okay. you're, yeah, it's fun to pinball die. around, and you pray that you don't get destroyed via the pinball. <laughs> All right, I want you to keep going. And then the... I can show you what the chest place he was talking about. It's coming up here. Oh, God's waiting, too. Yeah. I'm being yeah, nice. Right... In there. So you you duck down over into here, and you just you just slip on through it, bro, man. <laughs> I'm just go. showing where everyone's. I'm showing you where it's at. There you go. Is this yeah, the party? Is this is where yep. the party is. This is this is where it would be. And this thrilling music you're listening to is from the best of soundtrack of Vault of Glass. It's good. Cool. And then you work your way back out. Ah, uh, T-Rex, why are you shooting me? I'm just shooting. I just, uh, I just want to shoot things. Okay. I was <laughs> showing you the exit. Was... And then one last drop, and you are at the next chest. Which is the chest that also respawns if you do it on um, normal and hard mode. Yeah. And you can get exotic weapons out of this. I've gotten like six. I've uh, you can <laughs> also get the vault of. <laughs> you can also get the uh, the vault mark or cape or whatever from this chest as well. Yep. All right. Merry Christmas. Buy you somebody's kitty cat. Energy. Oh look, no one got anything. Surprise! Yay. You raid with us and you're not goth. You get shit. <laughs> 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 Right. Cool, so now we're going to show you the far Gorgon chest, which most of the time we skip because we have shards and energies for days. Ever. <laughs> Ever. So it's... Goth, it's, wait. Goth. Group. Yes. Yeah, I know. I'm right here, dude. Just freaking waiting. Yeah, right I know. I was just showing everybody. I'll just sit down. No, I'll just sit down. Okay, cool. Hey, could you calm down for me, Goth? Could you calm, calm down? down? <laughs> just calm down? Sorry, everybody's nice. here. Thanks. Just calm cool. down. All so right. in the Gorgon Labyrinth, there are these things called Gorgons, yay. And if they look at you, then your whole raid dies. Um, so yep. they, they react to, um, everybody back up, everybody back up. They react to double jumps, to invisibility, to sound movements, things like that. Running makes them react. So you pretty much just want to walk and not double jump. And they won't look over at you. And Any they're, sort of they're skill very activation nice. yeah. pisses them off. Yeah. Have we had any deaths yet? No. Nope. Just why? Why did you have to say something? Why? Uh, was, this is your fault. Whatever happens, it's your fault. Oh, God. What have I done? Like, what if this was also a how to do the raid deathless video, and now it's not going to be because you're a jerk? Uh, I don't know where the guy is. Everybody wait. All right, waiting. <laughs> I'm going to make, I'm going to right, reload back up, your yellow horns if you got them. You I'm can also loaded. kill a Gorgon, if you wanted to be yep. super badass like that. Alright, this way. Alright. If you want to kill a Gorgon the first time you go through the raid, that is totally fine. They do have a Grimoire. Oh wait, cover. no, I died on the plates outside. We had two deaths on does the plates count? outside. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Well, yeah. good job, nerd. No, we, yeah, we died outside. We had, we had a rough go with Minotaurs. You guys want to <sighs> kill a Gorgon like and get thousand. the fucking, um... Yeah, let's kill a fucking Gorgon! Do it! Yay! Nerd! Well, there you we go. Have fun with Yay, your we did it! Now you get a Grimoire card. And the Grimoire card's awesome. You get to learn that the Gorgons are ontological weapons that <sighs> prove or disprove your existence by looking at you. Uh, we Hang don't actually have second, to go this guys. way in normal mode. Nope, we can just keep going. Who do we leave behind? Bro Me, man. I have to take care of something. It's important. <laughs> uh, I took. Oh, by the way, I took care of the gas stuff this morning. 
it makes me feel any better. I, I, did, I took care of that. That's okay, mods. I, I literally took care of all 500 of those bots at school. Dude, Bronco Pet, thank you for the resub. You're sexy as fuck. I love you. Welcome to the Dinosaur Tea Party. Why am I singing? I don't know. Fuck. So Welcome that route we just place, showed sir. you is Amazing. pretty much the route to the way out of the Gorgon's Maze. How long did the Gorgon's Maze take us the first time uh, through? Probably the longest segment we had. I was watching that. That took a long time. <laughs> we were like yeah, fires, the first time we figured that out, it took a fires. super long time. Yeah. I think they're going to have a maze in the next raid. Um, I heard I think, that you're going to be... I don't think they're going to redo anything. I think they're going to have all brand it's new... It's all going to be different. Well, I heard that the, the Gorgon segment is going to be running away from a Fogoth-type guy on Sparrows. Fogoth? And, you, and you, have to know, you have to know the route to take to not die. Oh no, oh no. I'm dead. Okay, so jump puzzle. You can either jump the jump puzzle like a nerd, or you can just float Skip down to it. this far right thing like a smart person. I'm gonna die. The jump puzzle, there's no real secret. It really is just trial and error. And nope, I died. Me, like, it's, <laughs> yeah, the jump puzzles, the jump puzzle strat is do the jump oh, puzzle. No, 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 no. Like, uh, I always wait for the third piece of the puzzle and then jump right on top of that one. And then jump all the way down. So I stand on one platform and just make a straight beeline for it. Yeah, don't don't fucking worry, mods. I'll just take care of the ten thousand bots. Yeah, I know that's what I just had to take care of. I've got ten thousand bots. Dude, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drink my hot and tasty. Well, it's not hot. It's cold and tasty and refreshing. Starbucks refresher. That's the second time I've had a set of bots come in here trying to raid. <laughs> yeah, it's happened to me too. It was really annoying. I wonder if I'm next on the list then. That is that is super annoying, man. I wonder who's setting those up. I don't know oh, because man. it's like stuff that we say, so it's a viewer of ours. I don't think it's a viewer of ours. I think it might be. I don't well, know. well, I mean, when I got when it happened to me, it said you want some, you won some fuck. So yeah, everybody yeah. told me that that was from you. Yeah, everyone told me that that was from you when that happened to me. Yeah, because I thought it was from you. Up. Uh I'm having a hard time on my warlock. I'm so bad at this on you warlock. You will. All right. All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> I was oh, trying to show you what to avoid. You can actually fall on this crack. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I was How was my, you. my voice is sore today, guys. All right. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, there's a little ledge that always bops you off if you walk over it. So I was trying to show how to not do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then I may have killed I, myself with my own grenade. I'm proud of you. Good job. Woo! Down. Oh, I almost died when I landed. Warlock I did is kill myself my worst with my own grenade. Oh. <laughs> and no grenade jumping in this <laughs> game. No, there's not Best grenade jumping yet. in this game. Warlock is easiest? I have so much easier time with the other two classes for this last thing here. Warlock? Yeah. Oh, you're bad. I will save you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yay. I didn't make it again. What the fuck is going on? Have you tried my method, Goth? What is your method? With what do you do? Blast? I'll die and show you. I'm coming. Oh, I always... I'm on a Void Walker. Oh, no, 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 yeah. I'm, all, I'm also on... <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I'm sorry. I almost knocked you off. <laughs> right. Goth, don't go... I no, 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 Goth. It's all good. Goth. Uh, oh, did I do it wrong? Yeah, die. Come up here. Don't okay. Start. There's a super <laughs> duper easy way to do it. I okay. Brought. Yep. I, uh, yeah, there's a Gathalian raid coming in, so please take care of them, guys. Oh my okay. god, my mods are in rare form. They just got right. destroyed. Are right, you ready? Uh, you gotta wait for it to. So the next one that spawns, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. Right in front of us. Alright. And then just keep running and then jump. And then just, oh wow, that's super fucking easy, dude! It's I'm telling you, you're doing the hard way, man. Man, I've gotten so many friend requests since we started this. Oh man, so it's okay. Here. Just friend them all, and then you'll never ever be alone. <laughs> never be alone <laughs> when you want to be. I'm never alone anyway. I'm married. Oh, gosh, dang it! Not the married <laughs> thing. I don't. Again. I'm so God bad. God dang it! Literally the worst. Oh, you're over there. Are you in a perpetual death loop? Ah. Well, sorry. Ow! 
I'm here. Uh, Congratulations. I would have been done forever ago if I haven't been trying to be nice and show people how to do it. Um, all right, so this next part um, <laughs> is is the, uh, the the gatekeeper, and you got to kill the gatekeeper, and then you can open the portals. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this next encounter. Some people do both portals at once, where you go in, get the relic, come out, and um, defend the center complex. We tend to send two people into one portal, um, get one of the relics, go over to the other portal, and when we go over to the other portal, we send two people to the center to defend the middle conflict. So, basically, myself and T-Rex are going to go in... Um, Edward, you coming? Oh, yeah, coming. Yeah. T-Rex and I are, are going to go in the left portal first, and everybody's going to defend the sink plate outside. When we get out, um, Broman and his partner are going to go to defend the center conflux, and um, everybody else is going to go over to the right portal. T-Rex and I will go in there, get the other relic, bing, bang, boom, done. Is that, did I cover everything? I think you did. I think so. But for now, just kill all the enemies that exist. Yeah. Step one, kill enemies. Kill the dorks. Also, I'm using my found verdict because I want to. Oh, whoops. There we go. Oh, now I'm getting shot at. Now I want to there not use go. my found verdict. There we go. Literally the worst. There we go. Oh my god, the friend request got worse. What have I done? <laughs> Just you let can it wash over you. Real quick if you want. It's okay. Oh shit, it's a grill! Everybody send oh her a friend God. request! Why Maybe she'll marry me that? tomorrow! You're gonna make it <laughs> way worse. Hey, lady! He's I dead. got a wedding ring for you. You want it? That means I own you. <laughs> <laughs> Internet! Stop. Oh, we killed the thing. Yeah, we did. Because yeah, it's normal so, mode. Yep, yeah, because normal mode. LOL. <laughs> All right, so now we're doing this portal okay. down here, opening up the portal. Who's going through? Uh, myself and T-Rex are going through. Okay. I'm already in. Are we in the back. Oh, you see him. Gonna... Is he being a nerd? Nope. He's dead. Yeah, kind of. I'm getting out. He's dead, yeah. Um, if you send two people in the portal, I recommend um, one of them getting out while the other one cleans up and um, kills the dude and gets the relic. That way you don't get um, Wait, uh, blinded. Right. Yep. Oh my god. Well, that was a mess. Cause you, you good? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Just like, uh, it was just a mess. It's because of, like, you. I, usually you put more damage on it, so... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't oh, get a shot off right? until the end. I was in late. All right, so yeah. um, now that T-Rex coming is coming out, like, now-ish. Yep, now. Um, Broman exactly and his, now. his buddy are I going guess. into the center, and everybody else swings over to the right plate. Also, when you get uh, marked by the void, so meaning that you're going to be blinded slowly but surely, you get rid of that by uh, holding L1, which is your shield, for uh, the actual shield. Yes. It defends against any and all projectiles, as well as cleanses that debuff. It only lasts a certain amount of time and also drains your super by a very small amount. So use it sparingly. Alright, let's do it. I also don't have that available because... Oh, uh, I went right through. I'm coming, buddy. Literally went right through. I'm in. I'll cleanse you in a second. Yeah, super Skill him. Ah, nerd! I was gonna say my super's up again. <laughs> Engram, really also, fatality. If you see an Engram, if you see an Engram no matter what else is going on, get it. Yeah, you need to get that Engram. That's very yeah, important. It's, you it's risk super everything to get the Engram. Yeah, it's also the same rule goes for Spirit Bloom outside. Uh, yeah, and you make sure. Actually, no, it's better yet to also kill your friends while you're getting Spirit Bloom. It's like the best spirit way. Spirit Bloom it. is the most important part. We of are the coming raid. out. Now the next the next difference is going to be that there is going to be uh, both portals will close. And they're going to reopen, and then a um, Ultra Minotaur is going to walk through. Sorry, a, a Praetorian. Praetorian. And it's going to happen three times. We're going to have three sets. So Edward and Designer Fox come to the middle and help us out here. There's not going to be any more enemies on the outside. Okay. So the best way to handle these, if you're a shield bearer, just jump and do the smash. Jump R2. You knock them up, knock off shields, and also your friends will hopefully help you out too. And they'll. You can also knock yep. them back through the gates, which also counts as a kill. 
uh, in regards to at least when you're doing this. Man, he we wants should be you. done here in a seco. Ah. We're done. Yep, we sure uh, are. We got it. Sweet. You're gonna get uh, revived automatically. All right. Um, so get ready after, to back up. after completing that, everybody should stack up in the back of the room. And Broman, do you want to go over this part? Yeah. Uh, sure. So what's gonna happen in this? There's a couple mechanics in this part uh, in normal raid. Uh, one is teleportation, and two is supplicants. So. The first thing Atheon's going to do is he's going to walk out and he is going to teleport three people at random, hopefully, if it's working right, to one of the two portals. So we have, you know, left portal, right side, future, past, Mars, Venus. We just go with brown and green. Um, so when you get teleported, you're going to call brown or green and everyone is going to move to that side to open up the portals. Uh, so that way the folks that are inside can grab the relic, kill all the oracles, leave, and then do damage to Atheon. What does killing um, all the oracles do? Killing all the oracles sets off a effect on all characters called Time's Vengeance. Which uh, did anybody, anybody get bored? No one got just, teleported. Just me. Just me. Okay, well, whoa, um, whoa, this side over here. Yeah. Well, we're going to fail. Um, oh, happen? we're brown? It's on left side. Uh, this oh. is for brown. Brown. Defend yourself. I'm going to try and come in there and help you. If I yeah, can. we'll get you. Let me go in there with you or no? I, yeah, I honestly think we should get as many people in as possible. Uh, we succumb to oracles. It's okay. So Just that's what happens when Atheon does not function properly. Uh, if you don't get three people teleported back... Uh, you, <laughs> we didn't succumb to the oracles, we're fine. What? It we told did. me you succumbed to oracles. Like, yeah, no, I killed you. Everybody got dead. it. <laughs> nope, we're dead. <laughs> the last guardian standing. You succumbed uh, to oracles. I think it's because I, I was in the portal. I am the one who is victorious. So what happened there is it <laughs> sent one dude. person through the portal, which it shouldn't do. <laughs> that did not work out the way I planned it. <laughs> Stopped on my head. All right, so same thing. Just don't die at this first part. It's really easy. Now, yep. You just, if you run up towards the left or right part and hide behind these things. He uh he can't shoot you no matter what. You just won't take damage. So it's, I usually hang out on one of the two sides and just hide up here. Is that way on door about dodging anything? Yeah. Yeah. So the other mechanic that we didn't really get to cover because you know time is happening uh, is the supplicants. So anyone who's on the outside, you need to make sure that there are no supplicants in front of um, the portals. For it's, when it's the three leave. of them. It's, One of you needs to grab the relic. You got it? Yeah, the relic? Okay. This, is, this is the best case scenario. Sorry, I died. Oh, crap. No, it's okay. <laughs> we'll come in and do you need help with the oracles inside? No, where are you guys um, at? I can't see anymore. Where are you guys okay. at? Oh, I'm dead. Green. Yeah. It's okay. So when you go in the portal, um, we didn't set up a, a priority for a shield, by the way. Yeah, that we didn't. So well, we're going to do that now. I'm trying to explain how it works. Yeah. We will eventually get to the fight. Okay. So what we do is we set a priority for a shield. Um, we do a system of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, 5 and 6 never ever pick up the shield. And um, so if you're 1 through 4, basically if someone has a lower number than you, then you pick up the shield. Or they pick up the shield before you. Yada yada. So 1 always picks up the shield. So T-Rex is number 1. Uh, Broman will be number 2. I'll be number 3. Yeah. Um, Designer Fox will be number 4. Um, Mario will be number 5. And Edward will be number 6. So um, Mario and Edward pretty much never pick up the shield. And yeah. um, Designer gotcha. Fox, you will only pick up the shield if you are in there with just Edward and Mario. Um, the shield bearer needs to go to the people killing the oracles and cleanse them. Uh, if you get sent to green, it's paramount that you guys take out the um, the Minotaur first, as he is a fucking asshole. Less so on normal mode than hard mode. Okay, I'm in. So T Rex gets We're shield. on green. If you uh, so yeah, the oracles are gonna spawn. There's gonna be one right above you guys. Thank you, Silamondo, for the resub, dude. So kill the one right above you. All right, next one should be spawning in front of you. There's two of them are up. You got to kill them. All right. And if you have the super, you can try your best to help them out. But it's not a, It's not exactly a lot of damage. Golden Gun's really effective on normal mode. Yeah, exactly. Golden Gun is 
instant right, destruction. Alright, now run with me, guys. Those. We're gonna run out. Uh, you're clear. You're safe. Cool. Run through the portal. I will cleanse you immediately. Just keep you got going, weapons, guys. Roman? Alright, now follow uh, me. Oh, yeah, I do. Sorry. We're gonna go to the middle. And then basically, you're gonna stand inside my shield and you're gonna destroy him. Guardian down. Oh. Didn't and then you're gonna not shoot yourself with the Yalahorn. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't, don't use the Yalahorn in the shield. Got it. Yeah, it's hard. Right. And then <laughs> when, uh, the shield goes away, back, to stand back green. in the little buff. Alright, we're, uh, right side. I think it was gonna be you, Roman, but I got Oh, I'm it. sorry, I... I'm super sorry. I'm extremely distracted. <laughs> Five seconds. I have no help on this um, Minotaur down here. I got him. That supplicant was like, uh, you can go revive him if you want, Fox. I got this. Alrighty. Just watch out for the supplicants. They're probably gonna come at you. And yep. Yeah. Oh. I, I couldn't even get away. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. You're gonna come out for now. Oh, mm, yep. I got it. Oh, I got double ported. Cool. Supplicant. Oh, my dead body killed the supplicant. Oh, the fuck out of here, supplicant. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Three. Wait, wait. Nope. Time's vengeance is done in five. Yeah, cool. We're four. I'm trying to revive three, him. Cool. Two. One. Get safe. Nobody's kill. You gotta kill supplicants too. We are brown. Brown. Okay. That's the left side. Uh. Can you, designer fox? Can you stand on the thing? I'm gonna get Roman up. Okay. Coming to you for cleanse. Stack up. It's not up yet. I go first cleanse. Next cleanse will be on plate. All right, run, Roman, because they're right behind us. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you stay on top of the plate, they won't explode on you, Designer Fox. Sweet. Getting double ported is a nightmare and a half. Next cleanse will be outside. Meet up in the center. I uh, got weapons of light for you guys. Shield up. Stop looking. Ooh, wow. Well. I think that was supplicant. It was. I felt the explosion right next to me. Yeah, it's fine. Me. I feel like I'm dead in most of this fight. Really got to make su sure supplicants are clear before you try to do damage to Atheon. Okay. Time's vengeance is gone. Yeah. Oh well. We are it's in like brown. Brown. Just shoot. If we're in brown, just shoot all this. All the uh, guys down. Up. Oh, that works too. As long um, as you make them go in their defensive stance, Fox, I go can to the come center. down and kill them real quick. Okay. Uh, don't, don't stand next to the, the plate because harpies will just frickin' bum rush you. Also, you'll have a good shot on the things coming from left side. Or whatever side you're not currently on. You do have a supplicant outside. I'm trying to handle him. He's dead. Do you got a res for our... Oh, you got him. Nice. Alright. Running out. Wait. You're good. Okay. Okay. I All believe right. in you. I, uh, All right, let's uh, kill weapons. this bitch. Whoops. Do it, nerd. Got to shield up? Yep. He's just taking it. He's just taking it. Taking it in the face. Come on. Die. There we go. All right, here we and go. And that is it. And Good he's dead. Bird. Woo! The laboratory shot in the air. <laughs> Someone's got an epilogue too. I saw it. Congratulations, nice. man. I saw a ship as well. Or oh, miss. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Y'all's been calling me dude since I started watching him. It's all right. <laughs> well, I call my wife dude in, in my defense. Dude, everyone is a dude. That's true. I call everyone dude. dude. <laughs> you don't dude. have to be a lady He's to be a dude. a dude. And we're all dudes. Hey. That was a solid run, guys. Um, so, yeah, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, fucking don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be part of a raid clinic, you should show up on Monday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern. Very true. Raid clinic. At twitch.tv slash T-Rex, twitch.tv slash Professor Broman, and twitch.tv slash King Gathalion. That's what it is. Yep. Blue. <laughs>
Sehr, sehr, sehr.